do dogs get the coronavirus? Hi, I'm Dr. Weiner from Orlando, Florida. With all the concern with coronavirus going on, I thought now would be a good time to talk about uh, coronavirus in dogs. So the answer to that question, do dogs get coronavirus, the coronavirus that everyone's concerned about, specifically COVID-19, no, dogs do not get that virus. Uh, can dogs get other types of coronavirus? Yes, they can. So specifically with the COVID-19, uh, there has been a dog that was tested positive in Hong Kong. Uh, it was a weak positive. Uh, the dog's owner uh, was exposed and infected with coronavirus. Uh, so the dog was exposed to it, but the dog did not uh, show any clinical signs, did not get sick. Uh, so right now there seems to be, or there is no data suggesting that there's any um, possible spread or transmission uh, with uh, coronavirus in dogs or um, possible way of getting, uh, getting the virus themselves. Now, of course, coronavirus uh, can mutate uh, over time, but at this time, uh, no, dogs do not get COVID-19. Now, COVID-19 can potentially affect the world of veterinary medicine um, in the future as there are several um, drug manufacturers in China that are no longer um, in production right now due to the virus. Um, so right now there is no reported shortage of medications, but the supply chain for those manufacturers uh, has been affected. So um, there's potential down the road that we will start seeing some um, decreased supply of, of certain medications uh, and personal protective equipment like gloves and masks and things like that. Uh, but again, no, dogs do not get COVID-19. Um, now, can dogs get another kind of corona? Like I said, yes. So there are two kind of groups of coronaviruses that dogs can get. Uh, one is a respiratory form uh, and one is a enteric or a GI form. The GI form is, is not that bad, typically. Uh, sometimes we don't even know that they have it. Uh, sometimes they clear on their own within a few days without even needing any treatment. Uh, typically what we see is it's, it's most common in puppies uh, and you usually see some vomiting and diarrhea um, and like I said they typically clear just fine. Sometimes they get dehydrated. Uh, if they do need some uh, medical attention it's usually based on rehydrating uh, and nutritional support, maybe heat support if they're getting if their body temperatures going down a little bit uh, but overall they do just fine with that. Diagnostically, uh, we can do some uh, tests <clears throat> for looking for the infectious agent, uh, but typically we treat supportively um, and symptomatically, and they get better before we ha we have the time or we have the chance to uh, test for that. Uh, like I said, prognosis is usually pretty good, uh, and they do just fine with that. <clears throat> as far as the respiratory uh, coronavirus is concerned. Uh, that can affect all dogs of all ages. That's actually part of the complex of uh, infectious respiratory diseases known as kennel cough. People usually blame kennel cough on Bordetella, which is a bacteria, but in fact, that's only one component of it. Uh, kennel cough is actually a whole complex of infectious agents, including bacteria and viruses uh, that can cause respiratory issues. Like I said, in all dogs uh, typically um, Dogs of the highest uh, exposure would be dogs that are grouped with other dogs, so kennels, um, daycare, dog parks, dog shows, that sort of thing. Now remember, when dog comes in uh, to the animal hospital with a cough, we don't already know that it's coronavirus. Uh, it's just a dog coughing, so we try to get the history, see if they've been around other dogs, uh, maybe other coughing dogs, or other areas where there's been a, a high population of dogs. and um, with that, with the physical exam findings, their temperature uh, and how they're doing overall, uh, that's when we determine kind of what to do. So with just a history of a cough, uh, that doesn't uh, it necessarily indicate we're gonna run every single test in the book. Um, so we don't necessarily know that they have coronavirus. Virus. Um, so we typically treat uh, for a coughing dog, which uh, typically uh, includes anti-cough meds or antitussives. Um, possibly antibiotic, uh, just to cover our bases. Like I said, some um, coughs or, or causes of kennel cough uh, are bacteria, so I'll probably include an antibiotic in there, um, even though that might not respond, the virus might not respond to that uh, antibiotic. Uh, again, we don't know it's a virus uh, at the time necessarily, so we'll uh, treat accordingly.
the specific diagnostics to look for the uh, offending agent are not commonly done uh, unless they don't respond to the first line of treatment, then further diagnostics might be recommended at that point. As far as the vaccines go, uh, it's actually a little controversial. Uh, there is a vaccine for the enteric or the GI form um, and con controversial in the um, it doesn't hurt, it's safe to give it, um, but the effectiveness is uh, somewhat questionable. So uh, what some people do uh, just, just to be on the safe side is they'll give it as a puppy. Uh, they'll do two boosters as a puppy and then that's it, not repeat it as an adult. Uh, some people do, just don't do it at all. As far as the respiratory form goes, again, not COVID-19, um, but the respiratory corona group uh, one virus goes is, um, there is no vaccine, um, and the vaccine for the enteric form does not protect against the respiratory form. There's no cross reactivity, so there's no uh, vaccine for that one. Uh, so we just try to minimize exposure as much as possible. If you know that a uh, groomer or a daycare has an outbreak of a uh, kennel cough, whether it's Bortella or Corona or, or anything else, uh, just try to avoid those areas as much as possible. Uh, the other thing is, you know, just good hygiene for both the dogs and for us. Uh, if we are washing our hands really well, less likely to uh, bring it home. Maybe, you know, your coworker has a dog that's coughing and they struck your hand and, and now you're bringing it to your dog. So just wash your hands really, really well, uh, just like any other kind of uh, infectious disease. Do dogs get COVID-19? No, they do not. Um, can they carry it? Maybe, uh, but they do not spread it to other dogs, other animals, and they are there's no evidence to suggest that they're spreading it to other people. So uh, just like everyone else uh, is recommending, wash your hands really, really well, uh, especially between petting your dog and eating, touching your face, any of that sort of thing, clean surfaces really well. Um, but uh, no, dogs are not carriers uh, of COVID-19. So I hope that uh, relieves any uh, fears or concerns as far as the coronavirus in uh, dogs uh, in this um, time of concern. Uh, so I hope that helps and I'll talk to you next time. Bye-bye.